How you doing, YouTube? This is my first video I'm going to shoot, man, today. I'm here in San Antonio, Texas, here at Helen's Hair Salon. I'm the only barber inside here. We got other hair salon, uh, Cosmo women in here. But um, I'm here at the shop right now, man. I got some time to go over some clippers that I use and products that I use. And hopefully this video can help out other barbers out there. I know when I first started, I was always going on YouTube and looking at what kind of clippers they were using, what they're using for balding, for uh, tapers, comb overs, all that good stuff. But uh, I thought I'd make a video and maybe I can help out a lot of other barbers. And uh, I'm a licensed barber also. I'm here from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, but I thought I'd use this video. Like I said, it's my first video. I got some more to make. Uh, I'm gonna show you around real quick, see how you think about the place. These are where the women are at. The front, you see that Johnny B, my cards. I'm gonna tell you right now, man, uh, a lot of this stuff right now, this right here, I use it for uh, that credit card, man. If you're a barber, man, this right here, man, will make you a lot of money right there. Everybody, nobody carries uh, cash no more, man. Everybody uses cards. But my barber chair right here, salon, Another thing too that, that I use is, uh, I know some sometimes people use posters and everything like that too. Me, I didn't want to use no posters for like the haircuts to point out like, hey, well, can I get that taper like that, a haircut like that? It's because every hair is different when you cut. And me personally, I thought I used my own haircuts. I took pictures and I put in a picture frame. So when people come and ask me, hey, can, can I get that haircut? Of course, because I've done it before, I can do it. That's my haircuts. But then I'm gonna show, go ahead and show you what I'm talking about, man. This is some of my work right here, man. And customers, they love this stuff, man. They come in here, they see themselves inside the shop, and they're like, man, Rick, that's me up there, man. It's a good feeling. That right there, that's that's a picture of me in, in barber school, my first hot leather shave. But, uh, yeah, my little cousin right there doing an edge up on him, man. It's a good picture. But check it out, man. This is my, this is my station right here. I don't know what a lot of y'all people are using right now. But uh, we're using two boxes down here in San Antonio, man. Not every shop, though, you know what I'm saying? Everybody uses their own things different. But let me go over some stuff real quick, man. Check it out. Right here, we got the Wall Seniors. I got them always charging. Let me take that off real quick. But uh, like I said, not every shop, man, we, we uh, use that stuff, you know what I'm saying? This right here, man, this, this, this right here is a Wall Senior. Wall Senior cordless. These right here, man, these are my everyday, uh, my everyday haircuts I can use. Clippers I can use every day. I can do tapers, comb overs. Everybody got the set of clippers that they, they like to use. Me, these, man, these are my babies. I'm gonna use these all day, man. I've, I've been stuck on them. Before they came out with the, the the wireless seniors, I had the originals, man. Here we go. Let me show you something. That's a uh, those are the first ones they made. But once they made them cordless, man, that's it's it's easier, man. Everything's more easier. You can uh you ain't gonna worry about that wire, man, pulling on on the, this wire. I mean, even though it's not far, you know what I'm saying, but it makes a difference, though, man. And uh, like I said, these seniors, man, I can, they're good, man. They're, they're, they're the same thing. They're a little bit lighter than the originals. These are going to be a little bit lighter. But, I mean, I can do tapers, comb overs, what you, not to that, naturals, you name it, man. This, these are my everyday clipper I'm going to use on everything. Before I was using the, the seniors, I was using uh, Magics. Magic cordless also. These are cordless too. Uh, these, I mean, one thing about me, man, I, I don't recommend it to everybody, but I, I like to zero get mines. I know that was the first thing when when uh, I was inside the barber game, everybody was always like, man, should I zero gap them, should I not? You gotta figure out what fits you, man. And me, I mean, I'm, I'm always doing razor fades and, and everything more closer. So I wanted to zero gap them because I wanna get closer to the skin and give it that, that more of a closer cut. 
So uh, I started learning opening clippers and messing with clippers. I messed up a couple of times. And one thing I did learn, though, is uh, when you zero get, man, you gotta learn how to use these clippers, man. If you don't use them right, you're gonna scar people, you're gonna cut people. I don't recommend, if, you, if you're barely beginning, man, don't don't start doing it until you get the, the hang of it, the movida, you know what I'm saying? In English, I mean, we, we say it, the hang of it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but these are these are good all purpose, man. Let me see. Right here too, we got the detailers wall. These right here, man, if you look at the teeth right here, they're real sharp, man. These right here, I zero gapped them also. And uh these, I use these for the parts. We're doing the, the comb overs designs. I'm gonna use the corners. That's what I use these for. And uh I used to when I first started, I was always uh shaping them like with the beer lines and all that edge ups but i zero gapped them in and it, like i said if you don't know what you're doing man you're gonna, you're gonna hurt people though man and you don't want to do that right here these are the, the these are andy's right here these are trimmers also skyliners and uh these right here man these these are real good these are these are good these right here i use them to take off the line like i said everybody's gonna use these clippers for different reasons but me I use these right here to take off the line. Once I go like a balding, when I go real bald, I'm gonna use these right here in the corners. If you can see the teeth, these are trimmers, like I said. But these right here, I take off the lines, I use the corners, and I take off that that, that bald line. I'm gonna show you right here what I use. These right here, these are Andes, man. These right here, man, I know they sound loud, man. I got them fully charged, man. But these right here, though, man, these, these are, these are, these are good clippers, man. And um, these right here, man, these are pretty good. You use these right here, you're gonna bald. This is what people want, that bald, man. That real skin bald, you know what I'm saying? Um, I usually use this too when I take off the line. After I use those, those Skyliners, I'll use these them in and use the corner of it to take off that line. Um, I'm gonna go with some other clippers that I use. These right here, these are TI liners, Andes. These are good, man. These are gonna be good. I use these for beards, um, edge ups, behind the line. You know when you get to do the, the boys' uh, haircuts, you want that crispy look in the back. These are pretty good, man. Like I said, if you look at the teeth on these, these are pretty sharp too, man. That's what I use these for right here. Uh, Go to another clipper right here. 76ers, man. These right here, man. I, st I started off at a barbershop, man. Ray's barbershop. And uh, he's real old school, man. Ray, man. It was my first teacher, man. Uh, he's 83 years old, Ray. And he showed me a lot, man, to do with these clippers, man. I remember when I was in barber school, everybody was like, man, you can't fade with those, man. You can't do no no, no uh, comb over. And, man, I showed a lot of people at school, man. It could be done, man. It can be. But these right here, man. I usually use these on the old old school gentlemen's man. When I give them that natural haircut, which is a gentleman's haircut, I'm gonna put the attachables. I got the attachables right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. I got the attachables right here. I got my little setup: three and a half, two, one and a half, one a, one. It just depends on, like I said, what what you're using them on. But uh, these right here, I like to use them also because I use these sometimes on top these guards. These right here, these have the, the little grips, man. So the, the clamps, so it won't come off like them plastics. Uh, but these right here on these, these 76ers, man, when I use a three or a two and I use the top, it leaves a real smooth, man, straight, man. Those other ones, sometimes if you push down, it'll leave a line or, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I like to use these for too. On the top, if I'm gonna do like a three, a ball fade on the sides, even right here on the sides, man, when, when you're doing that, uh, that, that flick, man, like going straight up. Those are good too, man. Uh, let me get something else. This right here, before I start, before I start on my uh, my guideline, I'm gonna use these baldies right here. These are wall baldies, man. These are pretty good right here also. Man, I love that noise, man. It's that power, man. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I mean, th these are wall baldies, man. This right here, all this, all these clippers are good for right here. 
is just to make that, that first line, that guide, that zero. Uh, I zero gap these, as you can see. These are all the way to the bottom, man. And before I start the haircut, I'll use these right here. And I'll use my first, you know what I'm saying, make that line, first guide line. That's all I use it for. That's all I'm gonna use them for. Everybody's different, man. Everybody uses uh, regular clippers, make that first line. Uh, some use TI liners. Everybody's different, man. You gotta find what, what fits you, though. That's, that's the main key. And I know a lot of people, beginning barbers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be like, man, well, what should I use to do this kind? It's, it's really what, what, what fits you, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find a clipper that's gonna help you, fit you with what kind of haircut you're looking for. Um, but that's a little bit of something what, what I'd be using though. And like I said, I, I tried out a lot of different clippers to see which one will fit me or what. But for now, that's that's my everyday right here, man. All day, all day, this right here. But like I said, you gotta figure out what's gonna fit you, man. Me, I know when I first started, I was always using Elegance also. I know when we do the ball fades, we use a Elegance. That's what I started off with to get that ball bald, you know what I'm saying? Or with the shaves too. I would use this on my edge ups, all that stuff. But when I was working at Ray's Barbershop, man, he's real old school. And he believed in, in lather, man, the hot lather. And that's, that's, that's what I got right here, man. A lot of people, check it out, there you go. Just so you can see what I'm working with. But uh, a lot of people, man, there ain't too many barbers out there that still use that, that hot lather when they use the side for the baldings right here on the side. And that's what I use. That's what Ray showed me. And that's coming from an old school. And I mean, like I said, not everybody cuts different, but that's what he showed me. When you put on right here or even like on, on the boys cut, when you go around the, the, around the ears, you want to put that lather, man. And hit it with the razor, give it a more clean cut. Bald, when I do them bald fades, I'm gonna use that hot lather, man. And there's a lot of guys that, man, I'm telling you, man, they're, they're feeling it when they, when you get on that. And uh, right here, I got my hot towels, man. You can put the hot towels sometimes on on, on the bald, on the head. They gonna, It's gonna open your pores, really. I mean, that's what they show you, you know what I'm saying, in school. That hot towel's gonna open up all the pores, man. And you can put that hot lather, open up them, them pores, hit it with that razor, that straight razor. I got all my straight razors right here, man. Let me show you real quick. All my straight razors are right here, man. This is, I'm gonna use this all day, man, all day. But uh, I already got them ready. Uh, blades, man, you can't go wrong, man. Every haircut I use, man, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that straight razor, man. That, that's what everybody knows me. I mean, blade for everything, man. Even if it's just the edge up, clean up around the ears, I'm gonna use that blade, man, on the neck. Man, you'd be surprised, man, how many people, now these days, man, everybody just uses clippers or the baldings, which are the Andes, what I showed you. It's gonna be these right here. They're gonna use it as a, as a balding. But when you use that razor on that neck, that neckline, that nape area, you put that hot lather, man, you hit it with the razor, give it a couple of minutes, man. Hit it with that razor, I guarantee you, man, you're gonna see people, when they feel it in their neck, they're like, damn, man, it's smooth. But when you just use a clipper, a regular clipper on the, the nape area, you can still feel that the little bumps, man, the little the little hairs, the stubbles on there. But when you use that razor, man, they're gonna feel the difference, man. And that's what I'm trying to do, man. I'm trying to be different from everybody else, different from barbers. But uh, if you want to give it a try, man, go ahead and give it a try, man. It doesn't take that long to do that. But I know there's a, there's there's people out there that you know what I'm saying that everybody works different, man. I, I I can't speak for everybody else. Everybody works different, man. You just gotta figure out what fits you, man. And me, I mean, I'm trying to give everybody, you know what I'm saying, the, the best cut though, man. But uh, right here too, Johnny B, that's my main product I'm going to use all the time on them comb overs. I'm going to use that Johnny B. But that's, like I said, that's what works for me though. I don't know what's, what's going to work for you. There's all kinds of products out there, man, that you can use. But Johnny B, man, I've been stuck on it. I like the way it gives it that shine on them comb overs. Um, he got aftershave also. Palmades, the palmades right here, that this one right here, man. This is a good one right there. I use that on short, you know what I'm saying, on, on short fades to give it that little shine. Even on the old schools, man, on the naturals, I'm gonna go ahead and use that palmade right there also. Um, after shaves, Johnny B, I'll be spraying that after them for the, for the razor bumps. Tout, there's some good stuff right here, man, that uh, Johnny B, man. 
One thing I took, man, that I don't know if y'all know about Rick. Rick Moore, man. Uh, Rick, the, the the people's the people's barber, man. Rick, man. Uh, he's the one that does the uh, Texas barber battles, man. I took a class one time here in San Antonio, and uh, I tried out what he said, man. This right here, man. Naxima. If you think about it, not too many barbers, like he said, not too many barbers that want to take the time, man, and and do that extra. You know what I'm saying? What you're gonna do with that, that Naxima, after after a haircut, you gonna put that Naxima on, on the face, and it's like Rick said, man, it's true. Majority of us men, man, we come off of work, we're all dirty, oily, and all that. We never really have time to clean our face and everything, but with that Naxima, man, you throw it on the face, put that hot towel on that face, let it sit for a little bit, take off that hot towel, their face is gonna be poppy, man, it's gonna feel good. And believe it or not, man, when I took that class, man, I said, you know what, man, let me go ahead and try that. And I tried it on some of my customers, everybody's like, damn, Rick, what is that stuff you, you got on me, man? What is it, Rick? I said, man, that's that good stuff, man. I can't tell you all that. So I started playing with them. I showed them what it was, Noxema, man. You can find this at H-E-B, Walmart, man, three bucks, man. Go ahead and give it a try, man. And You know what I'm saying? Customer service, that's what it's all about. And that's what Rick told me, man. And you know what? That comes a long way is that customer service, man. I tell you, man, when you use good products on, on, on uh, your clients, they're going to love it, man. Uh, Johnny B, like I said, Johnny B, it, it's helped me. But everybody's different, though. This right here, it's like a sheen. I throw this on the comeovers, man. It gives it that wet look. It's a good uh, Johnny B, man. I've, I've been stuck on it. Everybody knows me for Johnny B, man. Uh, right here, man. I love being a barber. This is some good stuff, man. These guys right here, man, I, I want to give a shout-out to these guys, man, right here. I love being a barber. These dudes, man, I went to that Texas barber battle, and I met the guy. And uh, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and, and try it out, man. I like trying different things, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I want my customers to tell me, hey, well, you know what, I'm feeling that, Rick. I like that, man. So, you know what, I give this a try, man. They got a shave that you throw in the head when you do the razors, uh, razor fades. Shh, man, they, they were loving it, man. And they would tell me, hey, Rick, I can't, I can't choose right now, Rick. Which one I like more? The, I love being a barber or the hot leather. I like the hot leather because it's a traditional hot, you know what I'm saying, on your head and it feels good. But that I love being a barber. It feels good. It makes my head feel smooth, man. I don't feel no bumps, nothing, man. It, it's a good feeling. This is the aftershave, man. This right here, man, this, this stuff is, is good, man. Uh, I want to give a shout out to them, man. I love being a barber, man. Hey, y'all doing your thing, man. That's the only two things right now that I've been really using, man, is that Johnny B, and I love being a barber. Other than that, I haven't really been using anything else, man. That square, man, like I said, if y'all ain't on it yet, y'all need to get on it, man. Everybody now these days, nobody carries, you know what I'm saying, cash. Everybody using that card. That's what, that's, that's what that, that iPad's for right here. All day, man. All day. But uh, like I said, man, I mean, I'm just putting this out there. This first this is my first video, man. This is my first video. I've never shot no video. I've never done no YouTube. I've never done none of this. But I know when I first started, I was always on YouTube all day, man. Damn, man. Look at them cuts, man. I want to be like that. I want to do this. I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm making this video, too. Hopefully, I can help out other barbers who are barely beginning. Or, you know what I'm saying? Anything, man. I'm just hoping this video right here, it helps out a lot of people who are barely starting. Uh, but I'm going to make some more videos. I'm going to do some videos of some ball fades you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna go step by step what guards i'm using uh what clipper i'm using i'm gonna do some uh natural gentleman's cuts comb overs I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put something together for y'all man but like i said this is my first video i've ever made and i'm just showing you what i'm using what products i'm using uh what clippers i'm using what brand i'm using what uh products and hair that i'm using the brand but hopefully this video helps y'all out man and uh let me know, man, if this helped you out, man. If this, this video helped you out, go ahead and subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'll keep on making some more videos. But uh, I'll be making some pretty soon, man. I'm pre if there's anything, man, that I can help you out with, go ahead and, and send me a text. You know what I'm saying? To, let me know, man. Let me know, man. Ricardo the Barber, man. Hefito's Cuts, man. I'll be coming soon with some more videos. Appreciate it, everybody.